had that feeling, it's enough to make you hiss. I call it Sundayitis, because Monday I'd like to miss. It's not like you hate your job. You just know there's something better. It's like your wife's birthday. You don't know what to get her. Now, I used to be in theatre. So I'm destined to do more. So I used to be in theatre. So I'm destined to do more. But listening to my gut is just what I must do. Entertainment has stayed with me, and now it's showing through. So listening to my gut is just what I must do. I had the Sundayitis, and I was getting stale. So an adventure was what's needed to ensure that I didn't fail. Now, I had no idea what it was or how I was to find it. So plans were made to try new things and hopefully design it. A phone call from Bermuda, an island paradise, and immediately my hands went cold and my insides felt like ice. My spidey sense in overdrive, this could be the one. A path that leads to somewhere. Should it be the one I'm on? Of course it should, you silly fool. Don't stop listening to me now. I've been telling you for 30 years. Let me show you how. In all of your decisions, I have been right there. And subconsciously, you know this. You barely know gray hair. You know when things are going right. You grasp them with ambition. So don't let this newfound doubt ruin that decision. Get on that plane and go and chase this pathway to its end. Who knows where it will lead? But Sundayitis it will mend. Bermuda became our second home. Three years there we did spend. Living life and making friends on which we could depend. But home called us back because family will always matter. But the life we led, the fun we had, this dream will never shatter. So a plan was hatched that we agreed we would never settle. And curveballs were definitely thrown at us to certainly test our mettle. A best friend of mine, just 36, she lost her fight with cancer. So life's too short to worry about whether you should have been that dancer. Same job, same place, even the same street. Oh my gosh, I'm back. Lather, rinse, repeat. Get out. Do more. Go on an adventure. Don't miss something, because your gut can be your mentor. I reached out to my contacts, and Grant Kamen played its hand. And immediately, in my gut, an old friend who'd understand, this is your new pathway, jump on it with both feet. Who knows about the new places and people you will meet? So here I am in Cayman. <laughs> and it all seems like a haze. Four years have gone so quickly. It's a wonderful life maze. You see, we're all trying to get to the center, but we don't know what's there. So sometimes step outside and breathe some different air. <clears throat> Life's going to show you pathways that could be hidden by bushes. But your gut will know what's right, and that's what the secret source is. Google lets us analyze, and Facebook lets us brag. But don't let them stop you from doing the things that make you glad. It's so easy to say no because you think you know the answer. Haven't you always wanted to be that person who's a little chancer? I took a trip to Guatemala as part of this adventure. My gut said, go see this place. It supports a worthy venture. I learned some things about myself that could only come from this. There are people who live in hardship, yet they make you feel bliss. I decided I would help them. It was an easy choice. Through education in their lives, their thoughts will have a voice. I will continue to support them because my gut tells me to do. My path has crossed with theirs because I wanted it to. So don't let life get you down. You just have to listen to that little voice telling you about your indecision. And if you have Sundayitis and your spidey sense will know, don't miss a path, but listen well and lay it as you go. Grasp opportunity by the hand. It's always just out there. Don't be the tortoise. Go and chase the hare. Everyone can have an adventure, and your gut can guide the way. And in it, you'll find a happy place where you would like to stay. <laughs>